Um, very interesting question. <clears throat> you know, when I think about my uh, conversion, if you will, um, to, to, to Christ, how I got saved, uh, there's different words that you can use to um, talk about that. There's, a, <clears throat> you know, one obviously talks about your conversion, talk about how you got saved, you talk about, you know, where you came from. And one of the things for me that I think stand out the most is, you know, it's it's always very important when you come to Christ, you know, that moment that you realize, you know, that, that, you're, that you're lost and, and, and that Jesus is the answer and you realize you're in sin and you realize that, you know, <clears throat> the only person that can remove your sin is Jesus Christ through his, through his, um, through his uh, sacrifice and his crucifixion and him rising from the dead and everything that goes into understanding, you know, what Jesus um, has done for you and, and, and that turning point in your life when it, when it hits you and you're like, wow. Um, and, and then what comes after that? I think for me, what stands out is what came after that. Um, that kind of stands out for me. You know, the, the growth and the progression, you know, from my baptism. Um, and, you know, for me, I, I, I was always, you know, near God, you know, my, my, my parents, my mom specifically made a point to make sure that I stay, you know, near God, you know, make sure I was going to church, make sure that I was going to Sunday school, um, uh, make sure that I was getting the word in some capacity. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, I'd say that kept me in order. Um, but there wasn't a, I guess, a detailed, you know, relationship with, with, with Jesus. You know, I, I, I knew of Jesus, I knew of God, and, you know, I knew I was supposed to be a good boy and things like that. But as far as, you know, really owning it and really speaking it and really, you know, making it a part of my life, um, I didn't understand enough to be able to do that. There wasn't much of a connection, I guess. Um, I think around the time that, you know, I did start to realize, you know, what it was about it was around the time that I had, you know, met my, what became my girlfriend and then my wife, <clears throat> you know, we had a lot of discussions about, about, about Jesus and about church and things like that, mainly because, you know, I was trying to um, figure things out. You know, at that point, I was actually defending, you know, where I was in my faith, even though I really didn't have a connection to it as much. But typically, when you get, you know, what you currently stand on, get threatened, and you then you start wanting to go into com, you know, combat mode, and you want to defend it. So I started studying the word a lot more you know, around that time, <clears throat> and you know, studying it kind of led me to realize that even though I had a connection with God, and you know, and, and you know, I believed and things like that, that I, I needed to, um, I needed to be baptized. And I realized that, and, you know, I made that decision. And then, you know, subsequently I got baptized. And that phase led me to reading a lot of scripture. And so I did learn more about God and I learned more about who he was and, and what he meant to my faith. and know what Jesus meant to my faith and that knowledge I think is what grew my faith and what made it made it more of a connection um, you know to God so you know a lot of people when they want to talk about conversion stories it's 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 the dramatics it's I was a drug dealer I was a gangster I was a you know whatever and then I met Jesus and then you know I don't have that story per se I will say this um, <clears throat> I was dealing with depression um, during my uh, early, you know, late high school years, early college years, you know, and I think that in a combination with meeting my, meeting my girlfriend, now wife, and then also, you know, being connected to, you know, to Jesus and to God through that, I think it kind of built me up and <clears throat> that knowledge kind of strengthened me. And, you know, I do believe that God did send my, my, my wife to me to change my life. You know, because her that relationship with her and her strong faith, you know, helped you know invigorate my faith and grow my faith, um, and so that was something that I value a lot. Uh, what I will say is is 
subsequently following that that time you know i did i read a lot of scripture i read a lot of scripture i read the word you know you know i studied a lot because that was that moment when you that fire is ignited you know you're 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 focused you know you you've been you know you're you're excited you know you and, and being you know being experiencing that being reborn in christ jesus through baptism that just made everything brand new again you know even though i had a knowledge of god but studying his word and also you know doing you know on my own choice doing my making the choice to accept um you know ob ob obey the gospel and, and and that choice making that choice it's mine i owned it uh and studying the word that's what grew grew my faith and <clears throat> after that you know again reading a lot of the scripture was was powerful um but what i notice is that what's more valuable to me is the actual growth and although i got excited about the word and i was really starting to um you know wanting to tell more people about it you know it, it was it was during that time that you know i started to gain a lot of knowledge about his word i was reading his word and that's where the connection continued to grow stronger and you know i felt you know invincible in christ jesus i felt like i was really making some you know some positive some positive progress i think what really cemented my faith um was the hard times and that's the part that i want to share because you it, like again you talk about the conversion you talk about who you was and what jesus made you in that instant moment but it's not instant for me and i don't think it's instant for a lot of us you know yes we come to the knowledge of christ jesus and we come to the knowledge of the need for christ jesus but we don't necessarily um know the value of it uh, until we actually you know see him in action so to speak um and we learn more about him and so you know 2009 i lost my dad uh 2000 you know 10 around that time my mom was dealing with you know with breast cancer which which she recovered from praise god um you know i suffered a panic attack in 2012 um you know and, and a host of other things that took place uh losing family members you know my wife lost a lot of family members um 2016 uh 2000 2013 and we just had a lot of things going on and what ended up happening was actually i got frustrated with god um and and i and i and i told told him you know I'm, I'm upset with you how can you allow me to go through this how can you allow our family to go through this how can you allow people that serve you to go through this and um you know he didn't leave me you know he let me be mad he allowed me to be upset um but i never stopped studying i never stopped reading his word and i didn't you know i didn't realize what he had done for me until i started to come back to myself you know going through those things and also going through the panic attacks and going through those all those years that's where i really started to understand god and um studying his word in those during those times a lot of it stays with me a lot of it i remember um and so my story um if you will is is isn't necessarily one of one who came from you know being so far gone and then all of a sudden boom you know i experienced jesus and now i don't sell drugs or i don't whatever you know dr drastic thing that 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 happened you know but yet there are drastic things that i can use to tell people you know yes you know i remember when i didn't think i would ever recover from having a panic attack there were times when i didn't think i'd recover from losing so many family members you know there were times when you know i didn't think that i would be able to handle the stress that comes into my life and um there were times when i didn't talk about jesus i didn't talk about god it wasn't a part of a prevalent you know part of my life it wasn't something that was you know at the top of my tongue at the tip of my tongue and i think the lesson that i took from it that i want to share to anyone else is that you know you learn more about god just like you learn more about anything and become excited about anything when you know more about God, you study his word, you know, when you have knowledge about something, you become more excited about it and it becomes more comforting to you. Uh, so studying God's word, knowing who God is, 
knowing about his grace, knowing about his mercy, knowing about his power, knowing about knowing about his um how just he is, knowing about um you know what he can do for you, knowing about how he interacted with his people in 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 the Old Testament, knowing how he interacted with his people in the New Testament, knowing about Jesus and what he went through and how he understands what we go through. It all starts to make sense when you've lived life and you study his word. And um, that's the um, story. That's my story. You know, my story is one of someone who went from, say, thinking of God as uh, uh, God and Jesus being uh, more of an acquaintance and went from an acquaintance to an actual, to now we're family. We're, we're one. We're part of each other. We're connected. And so that's the that's the power of the gospel that's the power of the word you know when you know the word you get connected with god when you're connected with god now you're more likely to talk about him you know you're more likely to to be on fire for the lord so to speak um and so that's my that's my story and i hope that someone can can learn from it and i continue to make music you know uh about my faith and, and my struggles and things like that because struggle is real, but also Jesus is real and he's bigger than any struggles we can go through.